number one rushing team and you're the number and you're the 32nd passing team, how do I convince a free agent receiver this is the place for you? Mm. It's hard, but I don't look at Sammy Watkins as, as the guy. Uh, I hear they're still in the market for an Antonio Brown, but the, the the thing is price for him. Because if it wasn't price, guess where he'd already been, Skip? Like all the rest of the guys that went back to Tampa. But it's a price point. But when I look at Sammy Watkins, Skip, I, I don't see it. I don't see the guy that, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't see the guy that the Ravens and the Ravens fans think they're possibly getting. My, 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 let the speculation begin. Don't get mad, uh -huh. it's just what it is. Talking sports shot out in Graven Vans. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And directly from the words of Shannon Sharp himself. He said that he heard the Ravens are still in the market for one Antonio Brown. Now, we've had several questions from subscribers on the possibility of the Ravens adding Antonio Brown. And me myself, I've shut it all down. I was like, there's no way, there's no how the Ravens aren't doing it. I didn't say I would be opposed to it now. But I said there was no way that the Ravens would add an Antonio Brown. I just, I can't see it happening because, again, just to recap really quick, last year, the Ravens had an opportunity to add Antonio Brown, and he even said, hey, I'm interested in playing with Hollywood. I'm interested in playing with Lamar. And then even Mark Ingram, he went on the interview. He said, hey, bring him on. Hollywood, of course. And even Lamar Jackson, he said, bring him on. I'm with it. I hope we sign Antonio Brown. But nothing came to fruition nothing no visit no signing of course no nothing so the season came and went antonio brown went to the bucks super bowl champion congrats so then this offseason rolls around and the number one question from ravens fans well i mean 1a 1b one because a lot of people have been talking about center well just the offensive line period but another hot topic when it comes to the ravens fans has been what they are going to do at the wide receiver position. What's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Will it be somebody via trade? Will it be somebody uh, via signing? Will it be somebody via draft? Or will it be a combination of all three? Will the Ravens really overkill uh, when it comes to the wide receiver position? It's still to be determined. Still waiting. We still just being patient and seeing what they do. Now, of course, they signed Sammy Watkins. And Sammy Watkins, he definitely has a doubter in Mr. Shannon Sharp. But for this take, you honestly can't be mad at Shannon Sharp for that. Um, but I think Shannon Sharp, he didn't say anything about the injury history. He just, he spoke on how he feels like Sammy Watkins may not be who a lot of Ravens fans think that he is. When it comes to a wide receiver. But the way that he said it, it sounded like he was speaking more on skill than injury. Now, like I said in the Sammy Watkins video, biggest model for him throughout this entire season. Prove him wrong. Prove him wrong and prove me wrong. Prove everybody wrong. Everybody that doubted him. Everybody that said, hey, he can't stay healthy. And now it's the 17th game added to the season too. Oof. So the odds just went up, went up even more against Sammy Watkins. So he got a lot to prove. But the thing that I really appreciate about the Sammy Watkins move, and I think what the Ravens really envisioned when they signed Sammy Watkins, and I was just talking about this the other day in my guy Sonny's video, shout out to him, was I think when the, with the Ravens, uh, like right here, right now, if the Ravens season started, it will be Sammy Watkins in Hollywood on the outside, and it would be DuVernay and Mark Andrews on the inside. Mark Andrews obviously at tight end. But DuVernay being that slot guy taking that Willie Sneed role. Then that's if the season started right here, right now. Now we know it doesn't. But right here, right now, that's what it would be. Now, uh, with that, you have a Lamar Jackson. You would have a J.K. Dobbins, or Gus Edwards. You would have a Pat Ricard. You would have a Hollywood, of course. You have Sammy Watkins. You have DuVernay. You have Andrews. But what that gives you is a very a, a lot of potential explosiveness on offense. A lot of potential big plays on offense. And a lot of got a lot of speed, a lot of speed. And guys when they get the ball in their hands, they can be very special. They can be very very special. Of course Lamar Jackson, we know JK everybody that we mentioned. Everybody at the skill position. They can be explosive. 
So I think that's what the Ravens are going for. Now, with Antonio Brown. And again, there was a big story that Shannon Sharp dropped recently. He had it before everybody did. He called it before everybody did. I forgot what it was. Somebody please in the comment section remind me. But you know, these players, they be plugged in too. And Shannon Sharp isn't just a former player, but he is an analyst now. And he's been an analyst for a while. He's a very entertaining analyst. He's a very fun analyst, but he's an analyst. Um, but I, so I would definitely, I think what he says does definitely hold some weight. Now, one thing to think about, because of course, yeah, they, they got Sammy Watkins, who was not their first option, but with an Antonio Brown, with the Ravens apparently being interested in Antonio Brown, what would this mean? Could this be another smoke screen? Could the Ravens have been putting it out there that they're interested in Antonio Brown when they really may be looking at somebody else? That's one of the first things that got to come in your mind when stuff like this comes up. Ravens interested in Antonio Brown. And he said it just so nonchalantly. The Ravens are in the market. They're still in the market for Antonio Brown. So if they're still in the market for Antonio Brown, because <laughs> he, he's the only Buccaneer player that didn't come back. He's the only one. Last man standing. Would the Ravens possibly get into a bidding war with the Bucs? I can't see it. I don't see it. But, hey, if this rumor is true, that the Ravens are actually legitimately interested in Antonio Brown, this would continue to show that these Florida Ravens that we've been talking about, hey, Ravens, no, they with it. They're with it. Eric DaCosta and his family, they were just in Miami the other day. So they know. They, 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 they know the vibes down here. They know how it is down here. And they were like, oh, okay. So this is what they've been talking about. This, this this is why all these dudes from Florida that come on the team, they go out there and they shine. Oh, maybe we just need another one. Because you can never have enough. You can never have enough. So with Antonio, I mean, Sammy Watkins, again, he's from Florida. Antonio Brown, he's from Miami. So it, it just makes sense. But no, seriously, uh, if they were to add an Antonio Brown, what could that bring to the team? Well, <laughs> like off top, that would be your best wide receiver. This guy, again, somebody who at one time, one point in his career, he was regarded as the best in the game by some people. The best in the game. And if he wasn't the best to you, then he was definitely top three. There's no, no doubt about that at all. But this guy brings a route runner. He brings some speed. And he brings an attitude too. Even though we ain't really hear from him last year. We ain't hear from Antonio Brown at all last year. He was very quiet. Extremely quiet. Didn't say nothing. He just went out there, did his thing on the field. It, it took him a while to really get acclimated into the Bucks and to really get that thing going. But once he did get it going, he did all right. And he wasn't the number one guy. He wasn't the number two guy. He was sort of like a 3-4 because there was still Scotty Miller as well. So with Antonio Brown, if he were to come to the Ravens, where would he be? Where would he line up at? See, this is something that the, one of the reasons that I would really like this move, if it did happen, was would, it would be because it would give the Ravens a plethora of options. And with Lamar Jackson, he's from Pompano, so he shout out to Broward. But he already has a connection with Hollywood. He already has a connection with Antonio Brown. Sammy Watkins is also from Florida. Like, some of y'all may be thinking I may be joking about this thing, but the Florida connection is serious, and it will show both on and off the field. But it starts off the field, but it trickles onto that football field quickly, very quickly. So with Sammy Watkins, I think him and Lamar, I think it's going to be like that. So with A.B., you know, they, they done worked out together plenty, man. And I know everybody going to be like, oh, yeah, hey, that, that's Hollywood's cousin. Da, 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 da. And it is. That's just another perk. That's just another perk with this whole thing. He got family involved. So, again, we'll wait and see if any of this comes to fruition. Do I expect it to? Not really. I don't. But if it did, I wouldn't be mad at all. I, I would not be mad at all. There would be no complaining out of me. But one thing that we would need to think about, though, how would this impact the draft? Because if they, they just signed Sammy Watkins 
And if they signed an Antonio Brown too, then right now a lot of us are thinking they could go a few different ways when it comes to the first round of the draft. And then there's still Orlando Brown Jr. We'll see if anything happens with him. But a lot of us are thinking they could either go wide receiver, they can go interior offensive lineman, or they could go edge in the draft. Those are all the positions that uh, most people have the Ravens taking in that first round of the draft. Then there's some people who have said safety too. But I do think if they signed Antonio Brown, then you ain't drafting no receiver in the first round. And maybe not even in the second. I just, I don't see it. And I know a lot of them LSU boys, they had their uh, pro day yesterday. So they got a lot of people watching, a lot of people locked in. They're like, ooh, oh, just imagine Terrace Marshall. And a lot of people, are, I was talking about Chase too, but we know Chase ain't dropping with it. Anyway, we'll see. I, I just really don't think it would, uh, I don't think they would draft a, a wide receiver early, like in the first two rounds, if they did sign an Antonio Brown. I, I can't see them doing that. Because I think Antonio Brown would be like, that'd be like borderline overkill for wide receiver. But at the same time, it wouldn't be. Because Antonio Brown, what is he, like 30-something now? And so, But he's still good. He's still got it. And he can still come in and show all of our wide receivers plenty. Like plenty. Plenty. And then he, he got plenty to give to, man. And this guy, for, for this guy to have an opportunity to play against his former team, at least twice a year and you know ravens they petty with it too they would definitely try to make sure he scored uh on the steelers for sure you know they would you know they would but hey right now it's just a pipe dream but we'll see if anything happens team keep it clean i love y'all i appreciate y'all real quick special 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 shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons i appreciate y'all we also just dropped a new episode of the team keep it clean podcast today so make sure you check that out on the podcast channel. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate you. And we out.